and welcome to the Carp Show, me Tales to Wales yet again, unfortunately for you. Um, but I say, hopefully now we'll start spreading it around the boys uh, after we've had a few chats at the Cat and Carp Comp, which luckily enough we won down in Essex this week, so Tales to Wales, thumbs up from that. Uh, £16 was in it guys, uh, £120 to £136 we won it by, so really over the moon, all the boys fished really really hard, so really chuffed for them, so thanks for that lads. But what we're going to do is this week's Carp Shed is Ways with PVA, sort of a poetic name uh, to sort of show you through ways that I personally use um, PVA in order to aid my fishing and to allow me to present baits that I'm confident and happy with. So we'll get straight into it. First and easiest method is these colourful little nuggets of love, the uh, PVA nugget. Basically what it allows you to do is just simply wrap it around the hook, cast it out, you know that that hook and that bait haven't intertwined due to the fact that so you're basically blocking off the hook. Easiest way in the way that I use it, ever faithful combi rig, simply one piece of foam on the back, lick the other piece of foam, push them together, a bit of pressure, and there we are. So what you end up with is something that that bait now cannot loop around the bend of the hook at all, it's fixed at the bottom, as it hits the bottom it'll be gently slowing down because it's popped in it's a pop-up foam obviously and then that'll lay down foam will dissipate come to the surface it allows you then to use that as a marker as well is what i use so as i see those two little balls pop up to start putting a few boys over the top you know that your rig is roughly in that vicinity so fantastic little method uh i mean i don't cast the rig into the water without them i know a lot of the boys especially the com that's a great thing now i can tell you other people's styles because i've seen them all they love it love a bit of pva sort of really protects the hook and stops anything. Confidence, as you all know with my fishing, I like to be 100% confident and that's the way I do it. Another method then you've got is PVA bagging, PVA mesh. Uh, gives you loads of different shapes and sizes, different sticks. So you can have the old classic stick which you pull on, big dumper bags to cover the hook point. Yet again, allows you to cover the hook point and the simplest way I do it, showed you last week, Got a bag on the combi rig, pull it through, your hook point just gently touching the bag, I don't have it forced into the bag, and yet again, that hook now, as you can see, there's no, no way that that bait can loop round, and yet again, gives you a nice bit of weight on the end of your rig, so as you stop the lead on the clip, that'll flick out, and yet again, there's a tiny little ball of food to be presented around your hook bait. Um, lots of oils, etc, etc, gets the smell really strong, gives off the senses to the fish, they love it. Uh, so that's the easiest basic way to use it. Moving on from that, Ethan's favourite, I keep banging on about, we will get him on video doing this soon, is his PVA bags. This is one that he went through me step by step. Loads of pellet in there, uh, you pop up. And believe it or not, the pop-up um, on my rig as well, I've also got a PVA nugget as well. So I'm sort of using two methods at the same time. So fantastic little way. Goes through anything, cast through re, uh, through um, weed, cast through overhangs, etc. Hits down, and then you've got the pop-up will work its way through to the top. Nice bed of uh, pellet. Really strong approach. Um, works every single time. And I mean, if you've got these tied up in your bag on a pre-tied leader, it means you're quick fishing, off comes one leader, on goes another leader, you're back on the spot, you're fishing straight away. It's a sort of quick way uh, to be safe, to be secure, um, and fantastic. And we'll get Ethan, we will get Ethan to do it in the next one or two weeks. So uh, happy days with that. Um, I rarely use them, to be honest with you. I did use them at the competition, just so I had a few overhangs, just to punch through. Um, and it's a confidence thing, you've got to love it. Next thing, and last thing, sort of really underused, PVA tape stroke PVA string um, you've heard of the old stringer a couple of baits and then all I do then is keep the loop bend on that loops over the hook pull the baits tight yet again stops the anti tangle fantastic and then whatever bait you're fishing with you can have two or three just drops around it really strong tactic make sure though a little tip make sure between each bait you've got a gap otherwise obviously the water can't get between the boys for too long and they all stick together Another way to use it, I use it at the comp, is to actually tie a lead on with it, especially if you want to dump that lead quick. So what you do, tie the lead on, put a bit of tubing over the top, so the water can get in, but the tubing is sort of semi-fixed if you like, 
So when the fish picks up, you use it on a choddy, when the fish picks it up, it's got the resistance of that weight that's covered in the sleeve, and then it'll just pull off, leaving the lead in situ. PVA strings obviously melted away. So, I mean, it's a very quick carp shed because there's so much to do this week. We've got loads and loads of articles, etc., coming up on to uh, catch and release, as have Angling Gazette, you know, always doing loads and loads of work. So, fantastic work between that. But that's the sort of ways with PVA. So, you've got nuggets, you've got mesh, you've got bags, and you've got string. Use them in some of your elements of fishing, and it'll catch you more fish. Until later, team catch and release, Tales from Wales. Stay productive.